Hey guys, welcome back to part three of the series. I'm gonna go over suspenders used in Vietnam. This is for the Army, not the Marines. The Marines also have the P-41 suspenders. I'm sure John could do a video on that if I ask him to. But uh, to say things less confusing for those new to the hobby, I'm only doing the basics. So first up is the M56 suspenders. There's many different sizes, but only two models made during the Vietnam War and in general. The first is the first pattern used for early war. As you can see with the next one, the front and the suspenders are hooks. I don't know why they did hooks. There was way better things available at the time, but they did do hooks. Once again, sorry for the nail polish. I'm doing these first three videos in the same day to kind of establish something. But my friend was painting my nails because she wanted to, and... It's harder than get off than you think. Anyways, make sure the U.S. is on the outside and these are on the outside. I can't tell you how many times I see people new to the hobby wearing them inside out. Because this is way more comfortable on the, on the inside than this. The way you can tell it's this first pattern is it has hooks on the back. You throw your web gear on the ground, you hang it up, it's going to unhook himself somehow. It always does. Can adjust it with this. I've done a separate video on this. I'll put it in the playlist so if you want to watch it. So that's the first pattern ones. This is what you use for early war or even late war because these still were being seen late war and even post Vietnam. But now, if you want to do late war instead of early war, this is the second pattern M56 suspenders. Okay, don't rip on me. I'm changing the song because I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't know many of you guys like this song. No offense. I don't know why. Because I think it's very overrated. So I guess uh, have fun staring at a black screen for like 10 more seconds because I'm not editing this video. There we go. I'm back. Also, that little strap on the end of your ammo pouches, you hook it on here. So it has the hooks on the front and on the back. It has these clips. And luckily with these clips, it's not going to fall out of your butt pack or your belt or anything. They're staying in place. Don't ask me why. I have no idea why they never implemented this into the first part of the suspender. It would have ma made so much more sense. Next on, next up is nylon stuff. I'm gonna say it one more time, stay away from M67 unless you know what you're doing. Plus, uh, these are actually way more uncomfortable until you break them in. These, you can get them new old stock and they, they feel fine. This you have to break in. It's not even broken in yet. But they get more comfortable the more you break them in. So, this is the M67. It is still H, H harness or H suspenders as some might call them. They're way more intricate than the M67. So, sorry, than the Alice. First you have Alice style front clips on the back and the front, which is way more useful. They're not coming off. Once they're in, they're in. They're not gonna undo themselves whatsoever. They have cushion padding underneath. These have a DSA of a uh, 68, so they could have been in the country, hypothetically, in 69, 70. The uh, strap hooks on here from your ammo pouches, and you have this for your sleeping bag carrier, or a butt pack, if you can figure out a way to do that, but mainly your M67 sleeping bag carrier. And in the back, it's the same exact deal as the front. Finally, something that you should not be using whatsoever, Alice suspenders. I don't care what your reason is. You know, if you don't have a pair of suspenders, just run your kit without the suspenders. Plenty of guys ditch their suspenders. Um, it would look way more better for you not to have suspenders than to be wearing Alice suspenders. Or Y suspenders. Also, if you watch Platoon, the general is actually wearing... Or the cap... Yeah, the captain is actually wearing one of these. Which uh, seemed funny to me because I did do a project on Platoon for my uh, class. I had to find the uh, inaccuracies of it, and I love nitpicking inaccuracies. 
The back is a Y. That's why they're called Y harness or Y suspenders. On like the H suspenders. Way less intricate. You have a little hook here for uh, whatever you want, I guess. Uh, the clips are the same up here. Sorry, this pair is very salty because when I first started Vietnam, I didn't know the difference between Alice and stuff like that, but now I care, knowing like how much of an honor I should be giving to these veterans. So I had a ton of Alice and I sold it all off. And then when I realized I wanted to make this video again, I bought Alice as cheap as I could. So I bought a whole Alice kit actually the other day for like 30 bucks. Because I needed it for a video because I wanted to go over this stuff. But this I want I've been wanting to do this video for about a year now. But it took me forever to get everything I needed. And finally I have the ammo pouches coming in that are impossible to get. So I'm very excited for that. Because I, I wanted to do these videos right. So this is Alice. Don't use that. M67. Can kind of get away with that. And H suspenders. Something that's perfect. Doesn't have to be changed. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.